So we are now at last flight. We're just waiting to board to get the flight to go to Hague. We're just chilling. We're group. I was in the city. We're group nine, so they're in group four. So then we'll go. See you guys over there on the flip side. We just got our room. This is what it looks like. It's a two bed. It's tiny. It's eight, um, so I'm a little full. But um, we're gonna go ahead and change. I have all my swimsuits right over here, and then we're gonna go um, swim, look at the ocean, whatever. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure you give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Hey guys, what's up? So what happened is, I went to Mexico, if you saw my last video, I did a huge Shein haul and I had mentioned um, it was pretty much because I am going to Mexico, well I already went, but I was going to Mexico. Um, so I did that haul, whatever, and my intention was to vlog, like whenever I go to Florida I always vlog and every day I vlog something new and that night I edit it and then post it that same day. Um, oh, I'm so itchy, do you guys see mosquito bites? That was my intention, but it didn't happen. <laughs> so I've never been to Mexico before. It was my first time traveling from out of the country. I was excited. Every day we did something. Like there was not a day that we didn't do something. Um, I think like three or four of the days that we were there, we got back home like around 10, 30, 11. So by that time I was really tired, I was dead. And I honestly never even thought about bringing the camera. I was just having so much fun. It was super pretty. But that being said, I did take pictures literally every day. Um, and if you don't follow my Instagram, then you wouldn't know. So follow my Instagram right here. It was so fun. I loved it. If you saw my last video with a huge Shein haul, I wore nothing other than bathing suits. The bathing suits I did wear. But other than that, I wore another shirts, another shorts, nothing. Like literally zero. Because we were just doing activities the whole day. And the water, the ocean rides, anything. It was always water involved. So literally that is all I wore. And except at night, I would just wear like a t-shirt and shorts to sleep. So that haul was all, I wasted like what, two, three hundred dollars for nothing. Um, Cause I probably won't even wear that stuff here. Well, I literally only vlogged the part of leaving here from the airport, getting over there to the airport I think, and then getting into the hotel room. I did like a little tour. The hotel room was not that big at all, so it was really easy. That was literally the little clips that I got from this whole trip, which I can't believe because I honestly thought I would be vlogging every day, but, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Mexico. So, I also go ahead and start off with clothing. We did go to a couple, a mall. We went to a different mall, but that day I didn't go with them. I just stayed in the hotel swimming. But I did go to H&M and I got H&M and then this store my friend um, took me to. It's called Pull and Bear and they have the cutest stuff ever. So, first of all, I got these short. The one thing about their demi style, it is literally the stiffest thing I've ever seen. I was trying to get some jeans. I was literally probably fit into a size 10. Here I'm a size 6, 7. Um, so literally it's the stiffest thing ever. And I would get size 10 because of my thighs. They would not fit in the size 6 or 8. So I got a size 10 and it would fit like a mom style. But the waist was like humongous. So I wasn't able to get any um, jeans. But I got these shorts. These shorts are super cute. Again, they're super huge from the waist. They're size 8. But like from the thighs they fit me like... Because this is a mom style shorts. So... 
from the thighs if it me as a mom short should <laughs> but the waist is huge i'll just tie it but yeah these are super cute i like them they're just regular i don't have any that aren't ripped so i got these and i think oh i got this shirt from that same store too it says extra small it's like those tie ones that you tie in the front um i don't know how i'm aware of like I don't know, but I thought it was cute, so I got it. I got two of these, but the white ones in washing because I wore it in Mexico. But it's just like these cute little tanks. They're super basic, but a staple. And, and then the next sort is H&M. This is this cute little tank. Um, I thought it was like a sports bra, but like if I don't wear un anything under, you can see like my nipple and stuff. So I'll probably wear it with like little uh, pasties or whatever, but it's still super cute. Like these shorts, they're so cute. And they fit really good. Um, so I have small khaki, but like the top is like ruche. Um, super cute. I'll probably be taking this to the lake or whatever, wearing them. I don't know. But it's this little top. It's like t shirt, but the sleeves are like a little bit more open. This t shirt as well. I like this t shirt a lot. Um, it's super cute. It's like graphic. There's nothing in the back, but there's a couple details in the front. And I'm probably just gonna be wearing this all the time. Um, I got these from H&M, they're like beach shorts, I wore them over there, super cute, super comfy, so size small, and that's it from like stores, I didn't really buy much, I got Emmanuel some like shorts and stuff, um, and that's pretty much it, I didn't really buy that much. The next couple things is stuff that you buy at like the Mercadito, Mercado, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, I freaking love going to those places, I've never been, but I have been to like the alley in, um, in California, which is pretty much they sell little things like that, like knickknacks for like cheap. Some of the stuff, well, most of the stuff are knockoff, but it's still, pr I like going to just see. And sometimes you find some pretty cute like keychains or anything. Anyways, I always like that kind of stuff. So I went to the Mercado um, and I did get a couple of things. Um, some of the stuff I already gave to the people that I brought it to, so I don't have that, but I do have some stuff. I got this for my dad. It's like a says Cancun, Mexico, and you pretty much hold it, you pull, let me try to do it, you pull this little knob, like that, and it'll drop and start spinning. The next thing I got for my dad too, um, I should have brought more, I don't know why I didn't, but it's this cute little J, you can put in his car or whatever, it's like, I'm pretty sure they handmade this, but I thought it was super cute. I got some cute headbands for your hair. I got two because it was like two for 100 pesos, so I went ahead and got two. This one's for my mom, this one's for me. I got these famous um, bracelets that everyone always gets, the beaded ones. I don't know if you can see. Mm, YouTube things. Mm. And then I got this crystal bracelet. So each um, little colored ball is like a different crystal and then just black crystals. I don't know what they're called, I don't remember, but he told me all of them. Um, but I, I'm not into crystals and stuff, so I don't remember. These cute little like baggies that say Isra Mujeres. Then my favorite thing, I got me a little backpack from over there. It's super cute, it's small, it's like convenient. I got a bucket hat, let me get it. I never had a bucket hat before, but I wanted to get one. This one is super cute, it has a little um, turtle and it says Cancun, Mexico, and then my head is big. I don't know if it fits me how it's supposed to, but I still like it. I don't know if it's small. Is it small? I really like this bucket hat. It's one of my favorite things that I got. This is not from the Mercado. It's actually from Starbucks. There was a Starbucks right in front of a hotel, so we went there one day only. I don't know why we only went once, but I got this cute little mug. It's like the travel um, line. It has all these cute little drawing drawings and stuff for mexico that's it for this video um i honestly thought i was gonna vlog more but i didn't and i'm sorry i was just enjoying the vibe the scenes like everything um but again follow my instagram because literally i have most of the pic like every day i would post a picture for sure um so just follow me check it out right here um but yeah that'll be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i am 10 shades darker i am literally peeling it by the way, I'm not oily. I put um, a cream to stay moisturized. I'm already peeling super bad. Like, look at that. It's freaking gross. Um, but yeah, that is, that's it for this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.